What is up, Booger Beans? Welcome back to another episode of Adventures with Boo. On this episode, we are painting our kitchen cabinets and we are hopefully installing our fresh water tank. Um, so one of um, Sydney's friends um, works at a cabinet shop. I'm waiting to get the name of the cabinet shop from him. Um, and he built these cabinets up for us. Um, so we've got lots of drawers um, in the cabinets. Uh, these thin 12 ones are all drawers, which is what we were looking for. We wanted lots and lots of drawers, so that's what we got. Um, we're going to be putting a sink in there. The stove will end up going in um, this cabinet, which we're going to have to do some figuring. modifications and figure out how to make it work, but we'll make it happen. And uh, yeah, that's really it. If, you, uh, if it's your first time here, go down, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button. And uh, let us know, we are so close to 500 subscribers, but in the comments down below, let us know um, what number of subscriber you are, if you remember. <laughs> Some people do, believe it or not. Like, camera I was watching. We were number one? I you were know. number one. <laughs> yeah, so put that down uh, in the comments below, and uh, yeah, let's get to work. Okay guys, so Sydney's painted the first coat on the cabinets and we absolutely hate it. Like basically every painting job we've done on the bus. No, we've never hated it. Yeah. We've been unsure. Yeah, so we're not very happy with that. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to leave this where it is right now. We're going to build the cabinet base inside the bus, put the cabinets inside the bus, get that kind of partially installed, and then go get some like... Um, Samples. Yeah, some of those little paint samples and test them out and see what colors work. Uh, it seems like everything we get, the color is n doesn't look the same as what it looks like on the paint swatch or, or when you paint it. Like this is like super pink, mm -hmm. whereas it was more purple. Whitey. White, yeah, it's like a really light white with a little tiny bit of purple that we were looking for, and this is like pink. Like, it's like a newborn baby room. Yeah, so we don't really like that. So yeah, we're gonna shift gears a little bit. We're gonna build the base in there, get that installed, and then we are going to um, do some paint figuring. Um, the frame for the water tank, I've got the base of the frame um, all cut, so I'll start welding that later, and then uh, go from there. So yeah, that's where we're at. Let's uh, get to building a uh, base. So, we put the cabinets inside the bus, and the cabinets look awesome inside the bus. Like, They're beautiful. It's really exactly what we were looking for, which is really nice. Um, but the, uh, colors. The, the colors look awful. Absolutely awful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any other way to put it. There's only two colors on there. This one's kind of hard to tell on camera, I think. And then the purple is pretty purple. Yeah, it doesn't look nice. No. Um, so we are going to go to Home Depot tonight and we are going to get a whole bunch of paint chips. Or not paint samples. chips. Samples. Those little tiny cans. So actual samples of paint. Yeah. Um, we've chips had like 400 paint chips inside the house and we mm -hmm. brought them and they look great. And no, and not inside the house. We've brought them, we've looked at them in the store, we've looked at them in the house, we've looked at them in the bus, we've looked at them outside. <laughs> yeah. Like all over the place. And we get them and they are not that. Yeah. So we're not really happy with that. So we are going to go pick out some colors, maybe some gray Sydney's looking for. I'm looking for maybe a deep blue, um, maybe no more purple. No. I'm really done with I purple. I think no more color. Like we're going to keep it neutral now. Blue not for the cabinets. Yeah. I thought we didn't. No, no, we're using, sorry. Um, we're using Whoa. the stove and the fridge as yeah. our pops of color. Yeah, because we're going to paint the fridge to match this. Sorry, I'm cutting you off, but it can't swap for that one. That's it's really fine. uncomfortable. Yeah, we're going to paint the fridge to match the stove because we really like the cover of the stove, and that's kind of being our, like, accent yeah. color. 
Yeah, and it's in pretty good shape. Like, it needs a little bit of love, but it's... It would be shameful to get rid of this color. Yeah, it's just pretty. And it's original. It is OG out of a bowler. Yeah, a bowler trailer. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Um, I'm still working on the steel frame in for the uh, water tank. I'm not working on painting cabinets anymore. Sydney's not working on painting the cabinets anymore. Um, okay, so to talk a little bit about the countertops. Um, so our fridge is going to go right here. And then we're going to build an upper cabinet above the fridge. Um, a pantry, sort yeah, of slide okay. out. Yeah, well, that will be on this side of the oh, fridge. Yeah. Oh. On top will be like a just oh, a yeah. drawer. Like For that stuff that you don't really use that much. Yeah. Then we are going to put a, a burnt wood uh, countertop across the the top of the uh, counter or top of the <laughs> cabinets. Um, it's going to go right back to the window, not quite all the way to the window. It'll still be a little bit off the window just so that if we get any condensation, there's still airflow. Um, it'll go right back to the steel here. And then we'll have a small backsplash, probably two inches or something like that, um, that will run. This will also run all the way up to the front of the bus, basically right behind the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. And in that front portion there, it's actually going to be like a little bar. Um, it's kind of like an extension of our countertop. But when we don't want to set up the, um, couches ta table. the couch as a table, then we'll just eat supper and that kind of stuff there. We really noticed that a lot of bus people like set up stuff up and take it down every day and we are not willing to do that. No, it sucks. Like that is a nightmare. We did it in a tent trailer for one week and that was enough. <laughs> it was, we were out. Yeah. So, um, we also got power, um, that's going to come into this last cabinet and power. I might actually run that over into, um, this cabinet here. Sure. Um, and that will be the power for appliances, uh, Really, that's it, I guess, on the kitchen. Maybe yeah. charge your phone or whatever. Uh, I just have one question I want to ask you yep. now that we're here and I'm thinking about it. Will we build, a, like, a cutout, cut, like, thing that can fit over top of the sink? Yeah. Okay. Like a butcher block kind of thing yeah. that drops in. Yeah. And then, so then, yeah, if we're not using the sink, it will be able to be used all the way across yeah. as a countertop. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I've got this frame um, all tacked together and the corners mostly welded. Um, you have to be really careful when you're welding because the heat just pulls and moves and, and will shift all your um, welds. So you need to be very careful. You um, need to constantly keep rechecking um, for square, making sure it's nice and straight and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, it's tacked together. Um, I did some longer welds on the corners to button those together, but now I'm just letting it cool um, before we do any more welding and then uh, we'll get back to it and then we'll uh, do a test fit with the tank once it's all cool. So yeah, that's where we're at. Perfect. Nice. Now there is a little bit of space around the tank because I want to be able to put in either um, some spray foam or even just some styrofoam or something like that to ensure that the tank's not moving and not rubbing right on steel. Um, so now what we're gonna do next is we're going to um, finish well all the corners, get that all wrapped up, and then we'll uh, start putting in the, the uprights that support the tank um, when it's underneath the bus. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so there is the um, pipe going through the floor. Um, there's the hole through the bottom of the bus. Um, right now, I just have a reducer on the pipe just so that the pipe doesn't fall through the floor. Um, just so I can take some measurements and that kind of stuff off of it. Um, but yeah, we didn't hit any structure underneath there. Just kind of cut through the steel and uh, good to go. So let's head underneath the bus. So as you can see here, 
This is the um, pipe for the shower drain, or for the sink drains, and the shower drain pipe will drop through the floor right about here. So the shower pipe will drop over, come over to the side of the bus, run here, and tie in to this pipe here. Then we'll have um, this run in to the uh, the the uh, gray tank right in this area. So we need to have that gray tank tucked up as tight as we can. And same with this plumbing, we'll need to have the plumbing tucked up nice and tight to here with a, it will be like, theoretically has to be a 2% slope due to the size of this piping. Um, so we'll have, but over that distance, it's like a half inch. So it's really not a big deal. And also being a, that it's a bus, it's gonna be parked mostly level, but not perfectly level all the time. So yeah, the slope's gonna change as we park the bus. Um, so yeah, that will drop down. This will be um, the vent um, for the both the sinks and the uh, tank. And the shower drain will have a trap right over here um, to deal with any stinky gases or anything like that. Then this pipe will run up, have the sinks tie in, and then actually run through the roof and have a plumbing uh, vent stack through the roof to ensure we don't get any um, smells. There shouldn't really be any smells because it's mostly just soapy water that's going in there, but over time it can get a little stinky. So you want to make sure we vent that and also make sure that we don't have any like uh, um, draining issues in our sink or our shower because they're not getting enough air to uh, allow the water to flow. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it looks really simple to get the, the tank mounted up in here. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to do next, really. I'm just going to get the... Uh, get the pieces of angle ready to go, and uh, they should just weld on. Um, there is a lot of mem or support members under here. I'm gonna put a support member basically every single foot along a tank on both sides of the tank um, to hang off of this. So the tank, if it is full, it could weigh a thousand pounds. Um, so we need to make sure that it's strong enough to hold that weight. Um, I'm not too worried about it, really. I think the, the way I'm building it is going to be definitely strong enough to do that. But I just need to make sure 100%. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's go and uh, get those uh, supports welded up. We have got this guy in here. And he is bolted in place. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I did have all of the other supports because I've been putting more supports to hang it rather than just the corners. That won't be enough to hold all the weight. Um, I had them all welded on there, um, but as you can see, they are no longer welded on there. Um, I put them underneath, and none of them lined it up, lined up on the on the uh, rails like I wanted them to. So because of that, I had to cut all the welds and uh, take them off. So, not the best, but got the job done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting these guys in here wherever they need to go. Um, these on the frame rail side, they're actually not gonna be going up to um, the frame or the rails up here. They're just gonna be actually using existing um, frame mounting holes um, that are there from factory and we're gonna use those. Um, I think it's a sturdier way of mounting um, these these rails are not very strong they're only like maybe 16th um, rails like 16th di or, um, thickness 16th inch thickness um, so what I'm actually gonna do is put a, uh, a support that goes from one to the other on the backside to give a bit more um, stability um, and we'll also be running a support from here to the the rail up in front as well as on the back side, from the back side to the rail um, behind it, just to give it a bit more stability on this on this outside um, edge where it's only hanging on these rails, just because they don't seem quite as strong as I want them to be. And we'll also be putting a gusset from up to here, down to here, um, and on the back side as well, same thing. So there'll be lots of added gussets and added strength to ensure that this doesn't twist and this tank doesn't come out of here in the case we have to slam on the brakes real hard or I don't know, something crazy. We've got this under here and I've got all the bolts that are going to be bolted to the frame rail on. Um, but now I need to start doing the other side and I ran out of clamps because I have these ones clamping to hold the steel frame in place. 
Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my welder and I'm going to tack weld all of these ones in place so that then I can take the clamps and move them and use them on the other side. So I've got four braces on this side. I'll have four braces on this side. Then I'm going to run a piece of flat bar to tie them all together um, on both sides. And then we'll also run a flat bar X on the front. And I think that should be more than strong enough. Um, there's over like... Right now there's like 20 bolts on here and we're going to add another like four more. So you're talking like 24, 25 bolts um, holding it um, to both the frame rail and this under chassis. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is these outside corners a little bit. Um, I just don't want them to sag over time pulling down on this, on this frame rail. So I might end up tying a piece from here over to the frame rail over here. I think I already talked about that. But yeah, so yeah, that's what we're up to. Let's get to welding. All right, so we got the um, the frame for the water tank out of the bus, and um, now I have it in the shop. And I'm going to um, the reason I took it all out is because I don't really trust my vertical and overhead um, welds. So I took it out so that I can lay it all horizontally and then weld it. It's just a better way to weld, and it'll be stronger and uh, um, faster too. Um, so we just test fit the water tank there, and it fits inside the frame still, so that's perfect. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to weld it up, get the tank in there. Um, we still have to put the fittings in the tank before we can put it up underneath the bus because it'll be a pain in the butt to try and put the fittings in after we put it in the bus. So we have to find those fittings and then put it up there. But that is going to be it for this episode. Um, we figured out what kind of stain we're going to do with the cabinet. So we found a nice gray stain that me and Sydney both really like. So we're going to do that on the cabinets. But we have to sand down the paint that we didn't like and all that kind of stuff. Remove all that and then we'll stain them and get them installed in the bus. That will hopefully be on the next episode. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Go down, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button. If you haven't already, head over to Shop AWB um, to check out our merchandise. Oh, shopawb.com to check out our merchandise. And also, um, we have a discount. If you say free five, um, you'll get $5 off any item you order in our um, store so that makes makes stickers basically free except shipping and handling so yeah check that out and uh, as always guys thanks for watching and have a great night